Hello everyone, Mystic Intuition here, bringing you a 72 hour weekend read for February 24th through the 26th of 2020. Please however keep in mind that time is fluid, so whenever you view this, it could be a past, present, or future situation for you. If it does not resonate at all, please try checking your moon, rising, and Venus signs for love. Be aware that any time during the premiere, you can actually rewind if you miss your sign, but you cannot skip ahead. Um, after the premiere is over with, there will be timestamps in the description box as well as pinned to the comments so that you can easily access your messages. As always, we are going to be starting with air signs. Alright. <clears throat> Air signs, Gemini, surrender. I'm sorry, expression. I wanted to say surrender, Libra, change, and celebration for Aquarius. All right. Spirit, what messages, guidance, and clarity do we have for air signs for the weekend? What messages, guidance, and clarity can we get? What insight can we get into the situation for our air signs? All right, as you guys know, I have started doing a pre-shuffle for the Air Sign Collective. It's a general message. It may or may not resonate for all of you. It may or may not even correlate with the actual readings. They're just general messages from Spirit for somebody out there. All right. So, a tower moment kind of happened. Somebody kind of went quiet and withdrew here. Yeah, somebody kind of moved away from the situation. They, um, There's uncertainty about it. Like, you don't understand where this person went or they don't know where you went. Maybe you ghosted somebody. Um, but there's like a new opportunity that's coming back around. You know, there could be physical travel here. Somebody wants to kind of come in and transform this situation. They are trying to hold back and be strong. You know, I feel like I feel like that's you. You're trying to, you know, get clear first. Like you want to make sure when this person comes back around that, you know, things are going to be equally reciprocated because this person kind of left you in a state of confusion. This person left you really confused in the past. Now they're coming back in, but you're not sure you trust them. You really want to build a firm foundation for your future and you don't want anybody coming in here. So you're really playing it really quiet, playing it really safe, not opening up too much to this person. You're kind of afraid that this person is going to do the same thing again. Like you're afraid of um, this person just like things going good and they ghost you again, you know? All right. That's just the general message. It may or may not resonate for all of you. All right. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. All right, we have expression. I actually wanted to say surrender when I saw this card. So for some of you, I think that you're um, surrendering to the idea of like expressing who you are, being yourself. And I feel like one thing about you is that you're really authentic, like you're really true to yourself. Yeah, I think you want to express love and emotion. You could be dealing with a water sign. You could be dealing with a Gemini fellow Gemini or Virgo or an Aries here but you know you want to express your love to this person you want to have an honest conversation and it's like it feels really risky but I think you're manifesting this like you're manifesting this new beginning in love you're really expressive with your emotions right now or you're wanting to be you're wanting to be really daring like you really just want to like put yourself out there like you're manifesting maybe the self-confidence to do that like you feel like you have all the tools for a very positive beginning here I mean this is, this is a beautiful hand here um, I think that you have a lot to offer this person and there's mutual love here, but I feel like expressing your emotions feels really risky for you, but I feel like you're taking the plunge to do that. Libra, we have change here. So the winds are changing. There's um, sudden shifts and transformations on the horizon here. I feel like you have gained the knowledge, the clarity, the information that you need. You're, you're um, really adapting really well in this time of change and transformation. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, and the Five of Pentacles. You could be done with an Earth sign, Taurus for Capricorn. You could be done with a Pisces. But um, this is about an offer being made here. It's like, it's it's kind of slow in how it progresses. But somebody here has felt very stagnant. They felt really stuck. They have felt really weighted down, like they really can't progress or move forward. They've been really trapped in their head. You know, someone here has been feeling really, really out in the cold. But I feel like the offer is coming in, you know. Um, this... This pinnacle here completes this five into a six. You know, that's the six of pentacles. It's about equal reciprocity. It's about equal give and take, balancing the scales. I feel like things haven't been balanced in the past. I do feel like you've kind of been in a period here of like waiting and, un and not really knowing and trying to hold yourself together, you know, because you felt emotionally really left out here. But I feel like this offer is coming and it has taken some time, but I don't feel like you're going to feel stuck forever. 
for Aquarius here, we have celebration. So for me, this is my Three of Cups card. So celebration, recognition, you know, you could be getting promoted, celebrating an engagement, moving in together, announcing a pregnancy. That's just for some of you. But I feel like you're going out, you're having a good time. I feel like things are kind of changing here for you. It's, a, it's You're moving into a positive energy here. I feel like you've been waiting for somebody and it's like this person like you feel physical emotional distance from this person yearning longing waiting for this person waiting for news and communication and I think there's a lot of regret for how things left in the past this person does miss you they do long for you I do see them coming back in I do see some celebration here I feel like in the meantime though you're doing your own thing you're looking good I feel like this is like that single confident independent going out having a good time spending time with your friends focusing on yourself and I think this person's taking notice of this so I think this person is coming back in here to communicate with you because they've been on the sidelines watching you succeed watching you move on and now they're regretful remorseful for how things ended in the past so now this person's coming back in here because they see how well you're doing that one's up to you Aquarius all right we're gonna move into earth signs uh, please like comment and subscribe if you guys like that all right earth signs Taurus Virgo Capricorn for February 24th to the 26th 2020 what messages got us in clarity what insight what information do we have For Taurus, we have choice here. Virgo, we have surrender. And we have shadow self for Capricorn. All right. What messages? What's guidance? What clarity? What insight? What messages? What are our earth signs need to know for the weekend? What messages, guidance, and clarity? What insight can we get for earth signs? Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. What insight do we have for our earth signs? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. For the weekend, what messages we have? Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. All right, you guys, I've started doing a pre shuffle collective for the earth signs. Um, it's just a general message, it may or may not resonate for all of you, it may or may not even correlate with your actual readings. They're just general messages from spirit that somebody needs to hear out there. All right, uh, wish fulfillment, right? Um, really know what you want, wanting things to be equal here. Maybe you feel like someone's been giving too much time to someone else and you're ready for things to change. You're ready to be successful here. It's like it's just a matter of divine timing until the two of you come together and have some kind of emotional com communication until an offer is made here. Having some realizations here. I'm just on the judgment card and the sun card. So I think both of you are having some realizations about this connection and what's going to happen here. And the fact that somebody has to make an offer to make things more balanced and equal here. Somebody may have to walk away from something else. It could be a karmic situation. It could be... Um, addictions, codependencies, a job, I mean, it could be anything. There's like an inner conflict here within this person about offering this to you. Like, I keep seeing this Knight of Pentacles, so it's really, Spirit's really stressing that this is really slow moving, like it's taken a long time to kind of get to this point. But I feel like a tower moment is about to happen here between the two of you. I think that's going to change some things. I think you're really going to get truth and answers, communication here about what's really going on, because both of you are like yearning on the sidelines to be together. I feel like there is a strong element here of physical distance. Um, but there's going to be like unexpected communication, a truth, a conversation that comes through here about making an offer here, about expressing some emotions and, and really balancing the scales. I keep getting that Six of Pentacles. You know, really, um, someone may be holding back, but I feel like they're not going to be able to do that. I think it's going to be very unexpected communication in this situation, my earth signs. All right, somebody may be returned from the past as well. All right, that's just a general message. It may or may not resonate for all of you. All right, Taurus. Virgo and Capricorn. So Taurus, you have a choice to make. The decision is yours. What do you want to do? Maybe you're deciding between two people, two paths, um, two career opportunities, whatever that pertains to be. The choice is yours. What do you want to do here? How do you want to proceed? Do you want to hang on to this connection? Do you want to let it go? Do you want to choose person A, person B? It's up to you. You have a decision to make. You're balancing the, the possibilities here. I think that Taurus, you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I think that you're doing some research here. I think that you're trying to get clear picture here. You want to know what's really going on. This person, maybe they're... 
maybe they're really busy focused on work here and maybe you're just trying to decide if you want to put more work into this connection but i see you doing your single confident independent thing this is your energy here with that nine of pentacles this is pre-empress energy you're looking really good and i think this person could definitely could be watching you as well but i feel like you are taking the you're, you're having to make a choice, some kind of decision here. So you are going to make sure that you get any kind of answers or clarity that you need on this situation. Do you want to put more work on this or do you want to remain single? I think the choice is up to you. I think that you're about to get the answers, the clarity that you need here so that you can make this decision. All right, for Virgo, we have surrender. So, you know, you've been fighting something, fighting with yourself. It's like you've been trying to hold back yourself from a connection, from a dream, a goal, like whatever it is, like you've been trying to fight that. But like, I don't think you can suppress it anymore, Virgo. I don't think you can fight it. I think you're surrendering to whatever this is. Yeah, I think that your walls have been up when it comes to a certain individual. I think that you've been very defensive with your heart, blocking this person out. You've been really quiet here. You've been really absent in this situation. But I feel like things are coming around full circle. There's a cycle that's completing here. I don't think you're going to be able to keep up this defense any longer. I think you're surrendering to this connection. I think you've been holding back emotionally. Um with your time, with your communication. I feel like you've been holding back from this individual. I think you've been really quiet. You've been in quiet meditation, quiet contemplation here, but I think this cycle is about to end and a new one is about to begin. You're opening a new chapter for yourself. I don't think you're able to fight anymore. I think you're surrendering to this connection. I think you're letting your guard down and I think there's about to be new communication here. For Capricorn, we have Shadow Self. So this is about having that emotional wall here. It's like, you notice the moon there, and that kind of represents mystery, illusions, secrets, uncertainty, worry, doubt, insecure, I mean, those kind of insecurities. And then you have that ocean there, which symbolizes emotion. And then you have this wall here with this gateway. It's like you've tried to keep up this wall from yourself about what it is that you truly desire and want. Like there's this this thing that you kind of keep quiet, kind of hidden to yourself. Like you don't tell people what this true desire, what your true intentions are, what it is that you truly want. You keep up this wall. But I think that gateway is opening and it's illuminating a path for you to move toward emotional fulfillment. I don't think you can keep this block anymore. Yeah, we have the Chariot Cancerian energy. We have the Hermit Virgo energy. We have air energy here as well. I think that you're moving forward. I don't think you're going to be able to stop yourself anymore. I think that you're moving forward. Like you've went through a period of deep reflection. You know you have to end one cycle and it's painful. But you internally know what you have to do and how you need to move forward. Where your emotional fulfillment is. Like you already know that that block that you've put up in your heart, in your mind... Maybe even a physical block that you've put up. You can't um, you can't hold back anymore. You know where you need to be. It can involve travel for some of you, but you have gained that inner knowledge and clarity that you need. That you need to end a situation so that you can move toward what's going to make you happy. All right, that was our Earth signs. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you liked that. We're going to move into Fire signs. All right, what messages, guidance, and clarity do we have for our fire signs? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What messages, what insight, what clarity, what information do we have for our fire signs for February 24th through the 26th? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Aries, we have union. We have playfulness for Leo. And we have discernment for Sagittarius. All right. Spirit, what messages, guidance, and clarity do we have for our fire signs? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What messages, guidance, and clarity do we have for our fire signs for the weekend? What messages, guidance, and clarity do we have for our fire signs? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What insight, what information, what messages do we have for our fire signs? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. All right, I have started doing a pre-shuffle for the collective. Uh, it's just a general message for fire signs. It may or may not resonate for all of you. It may or may not correlate with your actual readings. It's just a general message from spirit that needs to be passed to at least one person out there. All right. 
we have somebody's walls up, we have somebody walking away from a situation, someone may have physically blocked somebody else, there's a block in communication, a wall around someone's heart, someone's rejecting someone else's offer, somebody's feeling left out, somebody is feeling dissatisfied or discontent with what's on the table here, but I think there's a new opportunity here, someone may be taking a leap of faith in a new direction, um, I think someone's having some realizations here about what's going to make them happy, and it feels risky, it feels like they're taking a chance, it feels like they're jumping blindly into something, but they're tired of feeling left out in the cold, like they have really um, had some realizations here about how to make things equal, how to be happy, I kind of see reconciliation, this could be a twin flame situation, soulmate situation, but there's a deep connection here, and someone's realizing what's going to make them happy, they've awoken to some kind of truth, they definitely could be waking to the twin flame path, that's just for some of you, that's not for all of you. Um, definitely could be over like Scorpio, but there's a transformation happening here, and there's victory and success on the horizon. Someone feels divinely guided to this connection. They're tired of feeling left out in the cold. They're tired of feeling like their cup is empty. Like they're this is like a rockier world kind of moment. It's like taking a chance. You know, it's 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 risky. It's like, but it's destiny. It's like they can't fight it anymore. They've really awoken to some certain truths that they want to build in a certain direction. This definitely could be someone from the past, for some of you, a past life soulmate. But this person's manifesting in the beginning. They're feeling really passionate about this. It's like, those walls got to come down. This is a situation where somebody's returning from the past. Somebody, you know, may have definitely blocked communication, but they're feeling really emotional now, and they're realizing some truths here. All right, that's not for all of you. That's just for some of you. All right, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. All right, for Aries... We have union here. So this is about a connection. This is my two of cups card in this. So this is emotional communication. This is two people coming together, having a deep spiritual union with one another. We have the four of swords, the temperance card, and the four, page of cups. So you could do it with an air sign, a water sign, Sagittarius. But there's been quiet contemplation here, meditation. Really, there's, This really symbolizes patience, and I do feel like there's an apology coming in here. There's emotional communication that's going to restore some kind of balance here. Things have been really quiet between the two of you, but I feel like that's about to change. This person's going to be open up emotionally to you, communicating to you. I feel like you've been very patient while you've been waiting for this person, but I feel like that healing communication is coming in. All right, for Leo, we have playfulness. So this is a very flirtatious card. There's a really playful energy here between the two of you. And I feel like um, you're about to get um, some kind of flirt, flirtatious communication. That's just what's coming through. That's what I'm going to say. Yeah, this person, they've been fighting their feelings for you. We could be done with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Pisces as well with the Hanged Man. Um, this person's been very guarded with their emotions. They have fought with themselves internally, but I don't think they can hold back anymore. They've been in a period of stagnancy, but this person goes back and forth. Do they want to hold back from you? Do they want to communicate with you? This person has a lot of emotions beneath the surface, a lot of um, inner confliction here, but there's like a very flirtatious, playful, lighthearted energy here. But this person, I feel like they're about to get really serious with their emotions. They can't hold back forever. This person does want to communicate with you. It's just this person has been going fighting with themselves but what they want to do here. This person has a lot of emotions they try to keep very hidden. For Sagittarius, we have discernment. So you're concerned about something. It's like my Nine of Swords card. So anxious, sleepless nights, anxiety. I mean, you're just really up in your head here. Uncertainty, worry, doubt, fear. Yeah, you feel rejected, you feel ignored, and I think your intuition is kicking in here that maybe you need to move to a new direction because the situation right now, at least, is causing you a lot of anxiety. It doesn't feel like it's a permanent thing, but right now I feel like you're ignoring this person's communication because, you know, you've, you're you really trusting your gut right here. Right now it's telling you that you need to heal. You need to move away from the situation because it's right now it's unhealthy for you. Right now it's causing you anxiety. It's causing you worry. It's causing you doubt. So you're distancing yourself from the situation. I feel like it is temporary. I don't feel like this is forever, but you're moving away from the situation, detaching yourself from this person, ignoring their advances. This could be friends, family, co-workers, lovers, whatever that pertains to be. But you're doing that for now because you need to get clear. You know, you need to get peace of mind. And right now the situation is too heavy for you and it's causing you a lot of anxiety. You could be done with the Pisces, water, air sign. Alright, that was our fire signs. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if it resonated for you. We're gonna move into last but not least our water signs. 
All right, what messages, guidance, and clarity do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces? What messages, guidance, and clarity do we have for our water signs for February 24th through the 26th, 2020? What messages, what insight, what clarity, what messages do we need to come through for our water sign today? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. What messages do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces? Water signs. Cancer, healing. That really needed to come through. Scorpio, we have thoughts. The cards are speaking. And Pisces. Let's see if we get you a talker. Pisces. Alright, balance. We're going to take it. Pisces. Okay. Alright, Spirit, what messages, guidance, and clarity do we have for our water signs? What messages need to come through? What advice, what guidance, what clarity, what insight can we get? What advice do we have for our water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Alright, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. All right, I have started doing a pre-shuffle collective message for the Water Sign Collective. It's not for everybody. It may just resonate for one person. It may or may not even correlate with your actual readings. All right, All right so somebody's kind of regretful. Like, they're remorseful in a situation. They're missing somebody. Um, somebody really knows their worth. They're nourishing their foundation. They're working on their stability, their home. Somebody here definitely could be watching the other person with that page of swords. They could be keeping an eye on this person on social media trying to figure out what they're up to because there's like a, there's like a separation here. Like you're missing this person. I think you're seeing this person kind of flourish and be through their single thing. That could be vice versa as well. But I feel like somebody here is watching the other person kind of like do their own thing, like succeed. And they're kind of like regretting that. I feel like, yeah. There was an ending between the two of you. Like, things have gone really quiet. Now, like, this person's really in their head about you, but what they want to do, how to move forward to you. I feel like, I feel, I feel like maybe you think this person has, like, moved on. They're happy, but they're not. Like, you're seeing this person succeed and do well and move on with their life, but they're not. It's, like, a show. We have the lovers here and the ace of wands. So, there's a lot of passion, attraction, physical chemistry, desire for one another. It feels very divinely guided. It's like you can't fight your feelings. Like you're maybe traveling to see this person or vice versa. There's like a new chapter that's opening together. Like this person couldn't stay away from you. There definitely could be a marriage involved for some of you, not for all of you. Um, but there's a spiritual connection here. Somebody here is, is um, holding back their emotions. They're trying to hide their emotions. They're trying to act like they're detached. But, you know... For some of you, this definitely could be a third-party situation where, like, someone's making a choice in love. Um, there's someone here that, you know, male or female, queen of wands, that you feel very attracted to. There's a lot of desire to be with one another. You can't, like, you can't fight the chemistry. It's like, but there's, like, there's, like, a block. There's, like, an obstacle that kind of keeps you from being together, from, like, reuniting, from, like, coming together. And, like, your walls are up when it comes to this person. But there's a lot of communication back and forth between the two of you. Um, a lot of um, talk about making things right, making things equal. You feel like maybe this person's unattainable, like you can't quite reach this person. Yeah, there's heartache here. It's like you want to be with this person. The attraction's too strong. You can't fight your attraction for this person. You're really up in your head here. You don't want to be still. You want to move toward this person. You want a new opportunity with this person. You want to celebrate. You want that new passion, that new beginning with this person. Yeah. All right, that's just a general, it's not for everybody. All right, let's move into the water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. All right, for Cancer, we have healing here. So you've been in a period of healing. Um, I'm even hearing that some of you could have just got over being sick. That's not for all of you, but you've been in a period of healing. You've been resting, you've been nourishing yourself. You've been trying to do things, you know, to improve your physical health, your mental health, your spiritual health, things of that nature. You've been really working on yourself. I'm shaking too. So guys, I feel like it's, you just, you went through a very painful period and you're really processing a lot of things right now. 
Yeah, I see that you're really hard at work. Um, you could be dealing with a Gemini, you could be dealing with an air sign. But like I see that you're really hard at work. Like you're really diving yourself into work. You're really taking control of your life in this situation. For some of you, this could indicate a choice in love where this could pertain to be a soulmate connection. But I think you're taking action here to really kind of get any kind of truth information that you need. It's like you're making this decision right now, but I think that you're really focusing on work, on your stability, on your success. You've been trying to heal because someone here may may like appear to be like emotionally detached from the situation but that's not the case at all i mean there's a strong divinely got to pull between the two of you but i think you're really just focusing on yourself right now focusing on your yourself your healing your your self-worth focusing on your career your finances I think you're taking control of your life right now, but I think that there's a strong pull here. And I do think the two of you are going to come back together and that's going to um, bring in some healing for you. For Scorpio, we have thoughts. So you're deep in thought about a situation. You are really contemplating something like you're thinking about everything that you and this person have discussed, trying to read it between the lines. Yeah, you want to make sure things are equal, reciprocated. You want to think, make sure there's balance here. Maybe this person's been given to too many other people. But I do see a new beginning in love here. Maybe you're contemplating because you're not sure this person's sincere. You want to make sure that this cup isn't just um, an illusion, that it's sincere. But this person's had some realizations, and I feel like you have too. It's like things have to be equal here. Like You're making sure this person, they have honest intentions with you. There's love and emotions here. And I think there's a realization of some certain truths. For Pisces, we have balance. So you're trying to juggle right now. Or you're trying to find a balance in your life. Maybe you're juggling between two people. Maybe that's your person. It could be quite a cross watcher. Um, it also could be that, you know, you're trying to keep up your home life, you know, your love life, your uh, work, job, family obligations. Like you have a lot of things on your plate right now. And you're trying to find that balance, you know. Um, yeah, and it feels like divine timing. I feel like I feel like you're making a choice. You're kind of at a crossroads right now. I feel like you know where your destiny is pulling you to be, but you're really indecisive because you know you have to walk away from something. And it still feels like an empty victory because you don't want to do that. You don't want to sever ties with this situation. You don't want to walk away completely. But right now you're kind of straddling both boats. It's like maybe it's a job that's unfulfilling to you. Maybe it's... Um, you see my hands trembling. Uh, maybe it's there's a lot of energy coming through here. Maybe it's the kind of situation where you know you have to walk away from something, and it's still painful to do that. Um, but you know you feel pulled to be somewhere else. It's like you're 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 indecisive right now, but you're coming to that conclusion that you have to make that decision. All right, guys. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. I am wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye bye.